Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. If you are not already, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out and keeps me motivated to keep producing videos to find the best settings for you guys in Fortnite. As you guys know, we're on to Fortnite Season 5, so there's going to be a lot of changes. I've been preaching 441.41 for a while now, and I've been testing the new drivers over and over and over again. However, with this new season, in the first few games I played, my game just felt very sluggish and I couldn't tell what was going on, whether it was my ping, servers, just all of the above. And while I don't expect Fortnite to be perfect right off the bat with the new season, it still felt worse than it normally does. So I started testing the drivers again. So you can see in this benchmark test here, I was in creative, standing still, looking straight forward. This was with 441.41. You see my average frame rate was 652, maximum frame rate was 673. I was standing still in an empty block map for 56 seconds. <laughs> with the new driver I stood still for 70 seconds, so not exactly the same but close enough. But the average frame rate was 712 and the maximum was 721. We were talking a 60 FPS difference between 441 and the new driver for the average frame rate. And even though I know that going into a real game right away, you're going to have more FPS drops than normal because the game hasn't loaded everything into the cache. This was the first game I played. 13 kills in arena. 1400 seconds. My average frame rate was 238. These lows were just because it's when I left the game, I forgot to stop it. But all of the clips that I've been showing in this video during this time are from this one game. So you can check the FPS in the top right and just look how consistent it is the whole time I'm fighting. Not only that, my game felt extremely better. It felt more responsive. It felt smoother. And I've noticed with the newer graphics drivers, the picture is a little bit better quality than before. Not that that makes much of a difference anyway. Okay, so we're going to get in to how to do this the proper way. So I have a folder to download, it should say this, once you download it. So we're going to go into safe mode, make sure you put this folder on your desktop so it's easy to find. So to go into safe mode, you have one of two options. You can read this really quick too, to see how to get in. The easiest way I do it to get to the screen is hold down shift, press your windows button, and then restart while holding down shift. And then you'll go from this step here, you'll select troubleshoot, advanced options, advanced startup options, startup settings, reset. And then when you, when you reset, it'll bring up a menu and you'll press four for safe mode or five for with networking. But you can also do it by going into the settings, update, security, and recovery, recovery, advanced startup, restart now. And then you'll go through troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, restart, and then press four or F4 to get into the safe mode. So once we're in safe mode, we're gonna open up the folder. We're gonna go to the first folder here, DDU. We're gonna use the display driver uninstaller. So it's gonna tell me that I'm not in safe mode. We're gonna go select device type, GPU, clean and restart and then your computer will restart itself. So now that it's restarted, we're gonna go into the NV clean install. So once we're in the NV clean install, we're gonna manually select the driver version, select 457.51, select next. Don't check anything here unless you wanna use GeForce, then check everything in the GeForce box. Select next going to copy your installer files. So from this screen we're going to disable the telemetry, select unintended express install and leave this checked for automatic reboot, perform clean installation, show expert tweaks and select all three of these, then select next. It's going to look like this. So then when you reach this screen here, you're going to choose install and then it's going to start the installation of the driver. So now once your driver has installed, we're going to run this bat file 
This is going to clear the cache of your previous NVIDIA settings and then restart. So now our next step is going to be going into the NVIDIA profile inspector. At the top here, there's going to be an import, import profile 457.31. This will not affect any global settings. However, if you play other games, you will have to apply those settings in your NVIDIA control panel once again. If for some reason you can't import the NIP file, you can use this right here to manually import any settings that are different. We're gonna go into our NVIDIA control panel Adjust desktop size and position. Make sure you're on no scaling, display, override. Make sure you're on your 240 hertz or whatever your monitor is for your resolution. Go to your 3D settings, program settings. You're probably gonna have to add Fortnite. Then for some reason, I can't get the profile to use image sharpening off. So we're going to manually apply it here and manually apply it here for low latency off. Here's the settings to make sure that you have all of these correct. Then press apply. Every time you use DDU to uninstall the driver, you're going to need to set the interrupt affinity policy tool again. If you haven't done this before, I will walk through how to do it again for all three, the GPU, the PCI bridge, and the USB. So we're going to run this as administrator. Don't worry about any errors. As long as you run as administrator, the errors do not matter. We're going to press N to get to our GPU. We're going to open up the picture. If you do not know how many cores and processors you have, open up Task Manager, go to Performance, and under CPU, it's going to show you your cores and your processors. And this is what you're going to put for CPU, depending on how many cores and processors you have. So then you're going to press, I have eight cores, eight processors, GPU, we're going to set as CPU2, set mask, CPU2, OK. Don't worry about the errors and do not restart your device using this. For our USB and PCI bridge, we're going to go to Device Manager, View, Devices by Connection. We're going to scroll down. If you haven't installed your drivers, it's going to say PCI bridge. If you have, it'll say PCIe controller time 16 or 8 or 4. You're going to find the one that your GPU is under. So here's my GPU, PCI bridge, properties, location, PCI bus 010. So then when we're over here, we're going to type in P, try to go faster and find it. We're looking for 010 here. Here it is, and we're going to go set mask to the same thing as the GPU. So for me, it's CPU 2. Select OK, do not restart. And now for your USB controller, it's going to be this one for Intel. It'll say AMD for AMD. Right click on it, properties, mine is 020. If you do not know the name of it exactly, you can go to details and device description and it'll be the exact same thing. 020, 020. And then go back to the chart and we're setting ours to CPU four, set mask, CPU four, okay. Don't restart. Lastly, I wanna talk about this Fortnite game folder bat. This is from my previous video. However, in this file, you do not need to change your username or anything in it, it will automatically run and it will delete the files inside the Fortnite game folder, such as logs, crashes, replays, and the game user settings file. So if you do not want that to be deleted and you use this, make sure you put that file as read only so you don't have to change your settings every time you log on to Fortnite. However, I do because it's only the video settings that change. Thank you to Orb for showing me that you can just use percent local app data in the bat file itself. So you can either use the search bar or use Windows Run, 
shell startup and put this inside the folder here and it will delete every single time you start up your computer or you can just leave it on your desktop and run it whenever you want. Now you can restart your computer and open up Fortnite and I will go through the Fortnite settings. So if you are deleting the Fortnite game folder every time, you're going to use decline, select battle royale, skip, skip, you're going to go to the settings, change your sound quality to low, and then the video screen, you're going to go full screen. 1920 by 1080, your FPS, go to Epic, and then you can bring all these to low. Motion blur off, FPS on, and reflex, we're gonna use on plus boost. And now you're all set to play. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helps you out, gives you more FPS, lowers your input delay, and gives you an overall better experience this season. Thanks for watching. Peace out.